Well, I think that the biggest opportunities that we have are for the impact and follow-up of ECIs. Um, I think that the energy surrounding the ECI reform proposals could really be harnessed to strengthen these two points specifically. There have been four successful ECIs since the regulation uh, was adopted, and so far the results on impact and follow-up have been quite uninspiring to me. ECI organizers that are successful should be listened to, and there should be proposals made to satisfy the organizers' demands. In the case of our ECI, the Stop Glyphosate, ECI. The Commission is now in the process of making a legislative proposal that the organizers didn't ask for. And so I think that it's really important that these two issues of impact and follow-up are strengthened in the upcoming ECI reform proposal. In my opinion, if uh, there are political interests, then we can uh, talk about uh, getting better the ECI. Uh, secondly, the technical one, where we, we should talk about gathering the signatures on the ground. Uh, the campaign stuff of different EC, how they work, and give these uh, know-hows uh, to the others who want to, to register another ECs. Uh, and uh, thirdly, the communication. Uh, uh, I think here we have a responsibility, uh, us who already uh, made an ECI, but uh, from, the, from the European Commission or European Parliament side as well. The best way to, to be very popular with ECIs in the European uh, citizens, uh, I think we should, uh, we should um, communicate more uh, efficiently and much, much more that they have this instrument of participatory uh, democracy. The changes proposed uh, and discussed uh, at the European level are good in terms of uh, its visibility and the capacity of organizations to actually launch an ECI. Uh, an open admissibility of criteria is a very good news and lowering down the standards is also good news because it will be make uh, easier for organizers in countries where it's difficult, where there is no tradition of collecting signatures or there is no tradition of participatory democracy still remains the big challenge for the Commission to be more loyal to the promise to take into account the demands of, of ECI organizers and to create some sort of mechanism whereby your requests are taken into account in a direct way by the Commission. This is the key element for the future of, of the ECI as a tool at the European level. On behalf of the European Economic and Social Committee, uh, I uh, think that there is a great opportunity in the new proposal to raise uh, the so-called profile of the European Citizens' Initiative, on one hand as a tool and on the other hand also as for the topic. But it depends very, very much uh, on the follow-up uh, that is given by, uh, first of all, the Commission and also the European Parliament as the institution that is politically uh, can deal with these issues. Uh, so in order to provide this follow-up uh, for the ECIs, it has to be better regulated and uh, taken more seriously, also in terms uh, of time span, so to give a quick response, let's say in six months, uh, but also on the level uh, at which uh, the organizers are invited. From the European Economic and Social Committee side, uh, we have been always inviting uh, the organizers to our ECI group, to the thematic sections, to the plenary during the collection phase and also afterwards we are proposing to draft an own initiative opinion if one of the members, if one of the thematic sections is interested in the topic. So we are doing our best to provide the most follow-up and impact for these ECIs.